Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've just been playing around with the JD5 and the GX8 with a lot of manual focus lenses. You've probably seen the last frequent videos, the, the most recent ones, that I've been using the 50 f1.2 AIS and the 50 f1.4 AFD and some other lenses in there, manual focus. Now, when I'm manually focusing those lenses, I'm using focus peaking. That's one of the things I like so much about the Panasonic cameras, the JD5 and the GX8 and the whole stable of them. Um, why don't we have this on Nikon and Canon DSLRs? I used to think it was perhaps a function of a DSLR, though. Just there was something not possible about in the nature of a DSLR that they could give us that. But you know what? Pentax has given it to us. Several of their DSLRs have focus peaking, which is pretty cool. But it begs the question, why doesn't Canon or Nikon give us focus peaking? Is there some reason I'm not aware of? Uh, it's obviously not a patent issue because Pentax is doing it. Uh, it's obviously not a DSLR issue because Pentax is doing it. I'm not sure why they haven't done this. It's a fantastic feature and would be, you know, probably not an expensive feature to put into the cameras, make it something that people, especially with older uh, legacy lenses, would really appreciate and really like, maybe use other lenses via adapters, um, and start to hedge or prevent the bleed off to, you know, micro four thirds and mirrorless cameras. Because the ability to use manual focus lenses, older lenses, legacy lenses with focus peaking is I think a huge advantage that a lot of people that gets them start looking into uh, mirrorless cameras. And I think, I don't know why Canon and Nikon haven't done this. Obviously you can do it, Pentax has done it. What do you guys think? Do you know the answer to that? Why Nikon and Canon haven't done it? Um, is it something you'd like to see? I mean, I, I think it's a great thing and it should be in them. Um, I would really, I mean, I love playing with the Nikon 50mm F1.2 AIS, and I would love to see focus peaking on a nice APS-C body like the D7200 or its replacement um, so that I could use the focus peaking when I'm manually focusing that lens, but we, we can't. So let me know what you think. Uh, is it a feature you'd like? Is there a reason it's not there? Should Canon and Nikon put it on their cameras? Leave your uh, feedback in the comments below. Let's have a discussion on it. Focus peaking in Canon and Nikon DSLRs. Why isn't it there? Should we have it? Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.